What's your favorite makeup? Because I really can't pick one. Is that possible? I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sarah Strange and Short here, and today I'm going to be doing my Ulta shopping haul, as I had promised in my Halloween video. It's quite a big haul, it's more than what I would like to spend, but I had a 20% off coupon, so I decided that would be a great time to stock up to get 20% off of items that I use all the time, and I also got items that I don't normally get. I ended up spending about $130, but I also donated $10 for breast cancer research, so the totals are actually about $142 once everything's said and done, but I ended up saving $31 on everything. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. I definitely wanted to restock on my bare minerals. I was running low on my powder foundation. I haven't had mineral veil in a while as well as the primer. When I got there all of my powdered foundation was gone but I found out that they're actually now doing compact for the foundation. It's the same application, it's just in a compact now, so I decided I would give that a shot. It's about two or three dollars more, but I really like it because it's compact. It comes in something about this size, and you just flip it open. There's a mirror inside. You could just shove this in your purse and go for touch ups. In this color, I use fairly medium. He said the shades are a d little bit different when you use the compact. So if you want to switch from the powder to the compact, be sure you stop and speak to a beautician there or someone so that they can tell you which color would best suit your face. Next, I got my mineral veil. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. That was in one of my videos. Love it. I also got my primer, primetime primer. Again, that's another something that's in one of my videos. And I finally decided to get something for um, dark spots under my eyes. I really don't sleep as much as I should at all. And using cover-up just has become kind of monotonous. And it hasn't really been doing that well of a job that I had hoped. Now that I'm really into the school year and really not into sleeping as much anymore. The darkness under my eyes has been kind of worse than it usually is over the summer. So long story short, I got this stuff called Well Rested. I haven't used it yet, so obviously you can tell I still have some circles going on, but I want to make a video for it. It worked really well in this store. They applied it for me, and it's supposed to take the darkness away from your eyes. You can use that on top of or beneath your foundation, whichever you prefer. Well, that's my whole Bare Minerals shindig, and next we're going to talk about blush. I got two things of blush. I have Ulta brand blush in infatuation for cheek color. And finally, I got something to kind of mix it up for lighter colors. This um, brand called Happy Booster. And it says Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. The color is 7554 pink. This is $16, which is a bit on the pricier side for me, but what really sold me on it is that there are different shades of pink in here, both dark and light, that I can play with and essentially make my own kind of combination of blush from day to day, depending on what kind of look I'm going for. Additionally, it comes with a mirror and a brush. On to eyeshadow. I got NYX, and this is the first NYX product that I've actually ever purchased, and I'm excited to use them too. I've heard a lot of great things, and I just hear a lot about them, so I decided I would give them a shot. I got a rusty color. This is East S15 rust color and I'll show you that on my arm hand thing. Uh, there you go. Okay, so um, I really love rusty, rosy colors. I think it's great because it's really easy to take a shadow like that and either use it in an everyday makeup or a dramatic nighttime look. I can make a video for you guys for that if you want and uh, we'll go ahead and roll into what I'm most excited about because it's my first time purchasing this shadow palette and I'm really excited to use them. I got a shadow palette by the brand Too Faced and I've already used 
products from them before blush and a bronzer I really like the brand every time I go into Ulta I'm always oogling the Urban Decay and the Too Faced but I had never gotten palettes from them before I finally broke down and got one of their palettes and I couldn't be happier because I'm going to use all these colors these are all colors that I love and I'm excited so it is their shadow bonbons collection and I'll go ahead and show you what really sold me too is that this comes with eye primer and mascara which is really nice I thought that was a good deal as well for forty two dollars and these are the different shadows so as you can see there's a lot of neutrals in there pretty colors there's also a mirror on it for ap easy application it also comes with a little pamphlet with information on the mascara the eye primer and on ways that you can do your makeup I have never tried techniques like this before specifically this is a little bit different for me but um, I'm gonna try it out if I like it or if I think it looks good or whatever I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys and teach you how I do it or what I think of it etc etc that concludes my shopping haul I hope you guys really enjoyed it I hope it inspired you gave you some ideas yada 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 and uh, yeah questions comments video requests, it's all welcome. Let me know. This is Sarah Strange and Short, and I hope you have a great day. The important thing is when you see sales for whatever store you shop the most for makeup, sign up for their coupon thing. I know some people don't like getting spammed or whatever. Ulta will have sales going on all the time. They do frequently have 20% off coupons for your entire purchase.